Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Remember Them, presented by the Project We Are Free Foundation. I'm your host, Dr. Tamika A. Anderson, and I am a survivor of 20 years of domestic violence and abuse. I'm on a mission to help you know the red flags of domestic violence and abuse and how to escape a potentially deadly relationship by sharing my personal experiences and real life cases of women who have been affected by domestic violence and abuse. In this episode, we're going to take a look into the ghastly murder of Melissa Mendez. It's not for me to decide the fate of the accused. It's up to the law. But in these stories, I will not reference the perpetrators by name. The accused will be referred to as the abuser. Hopefully, in each of these cases, justice will prevail. Now we're gonna take a look into the life of another woman who has been affected by domestic violence and abuse. Melissa Mendez was a 26 year old dedicated mother of two children. She was also dedicated to her family and she was a hard worker. Melissa and her abuser had a history of domestic violence and abuse. Melissa had an on and off relationship with her abuser and Melissa had once again moved on from the relationship and her abuser wasn't taking the breakup well. Melissa's abuser had a history of stalking her. On different occasions, he would stand outside of her house waiting for her unannounced. During Melissa's relationship with her abuser, he had been violent towards her as well as verbally and emotionally abusive. At one point in 2015, Melissa reconciled with her abuser in an effort to co-parent together for their children. Court records state there was an instability in the home and the couple once again separated. At some point, they reconciled and got back together, but by 2017, Melissa broke up with her abuser again. And on February 27th, 2017, while Melissa was on her job, working as an employee and team member at Best Buy in Avondale, Arizona, she got into a confrontation with her abuser who showed up at her place of employment. During this confrontation, Melissa's abuser fired several shots at her. Melissa tried to run back inside of the Best Buy for safety, but it was too late. Melissa did not survive the gunshot wounds. And after shooting Melissa, her abuser turned the gun on himself. He was rushed to the hospital and died the next day. The exact reason that led to Melissa being murdered has not been disclosed to the public. But what we do know is that no one had the right to take her her precious life. And Melissa's two beautiful children are now left without parents. Abuse is never okay. If you or someone you know is being abused, please contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE. Be sure to like this video and respectfully chime in on this conversation by leaving your comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you'd like to join us for the next video as we identify the red flags and also get my commentary on this particular case. And remember, put a purple heart in the comment section to remember the lives lost to domestic violence and abuse. Peace, love, and blessings. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, and visit projectwearefree.org for free resources and materials.